On Saturday, January 2nd, the 5 and 1 Hopkinton Hillers hockey team took on Holliston. The Hillers were white hot coming into this game on a three game winning streak, and the hotness continued. Now, square up shot. Here's Kosher again. Shot oh. the goal! That was a nice pass across the middle of the ice, and he finished it on the shot. Well, the senior Alex Koshev gets the Hillers on the board at the 11.56 mark. But Hopkinton is there to throw it out from to the blue line, but not a tip oh. in in front. That skipped in front, and Holliston scores. A great play by number 14. Koshev wins the faceoff. Now it's taken away. Karpensky backhander, and it's in. Will Karpensky. Karpensky. After, after the Hillers had won a faceoff. Went right to the middle of the circle and put a backhander in, and the Hillers lead 2 1. All right, we get ready for second period action with the Hillers leading 2 to 1. The Hillers now backhand a tip and trying it's in. A tip in in front, and I think Steven Simos got it. It's a nice give and go. Yes, Simos shot save and a goal by Abbott. He got a rebound. Nobody was there for the Panthers to help clear the rebound, and it's tucked back in by Will Abbott. And the Hillers take a four to one lead. Oh, he bomb shot and he scores. Oh, he wound up. He took almost a full windmill there and he buried it from just the top of the circle and the Hillers now lead five. The Hillers get the five to one win over Holliston. Five goals from five different players improve the Hillers to six and one on the season. On Wednesday, January 6th, the Hillers brought a four-game winning streak into a matchup with Bellingham. Pickens takes a shot, and a goal! From the point, it's a power play goal, and the Hillers tie the score at one. And Bellingham still keeps in the bouncing puck on goal, and it goes in! And there to get it. Is Alexander throws it up off the board. He tries to hit Boucher. Boucher can't get out. It's a turnover. Now a squared up shot and a goal. Right away, Cam Finlayson scores, and the Hillers have tied it at two. They have somebody back with them. All right, 9.17 to go, second period. Score tied at two. Up the board. Owen Delaney with it. Pinches down. Rolf takes a shot, and it's a blocker save into the corner. Now Voki, Voki looking up, tries to turn around, and a shot, a backhand goal by Matt Linquist. It looked to me like Linquist was out in front and threw a backhander after the initial shot, and the Hillers take a three to two lead. There's a shot and another save, and there's a goal, a put back goal by Dulac, and he has his 10th goal of the season, and he has tied the game. Tried Linquist there. Linquist uh, throws it out in front. Here's Rolf shot. And a goal! Evan Rolf hits a top roof of the goal and gives the Hillers a 4 to 3 lead. Still has it. Gets to the circle. Takes a shot. A guy, whoa, wide open in front is Dulac. And a save. In front is a shot and a save by O'Leary. Point blank. Have it back here in front. Oh, and a nice pass and a goal by Steven Simos. Oh, what a nice pass by Abbott to Simos, and he roofed it, and Morse had no chance on that goal. The empty net, Mike. Yeah. 50 seconds to Who go. Who doesn't want one of those? Like this to Volke. Volke launches it down the ice, and he scores. The Hillers spread the puck around once again as six different players grab goals in this one. A 6-3 victory over Bellingham improves the Hillers to 7-1 overall as they win their fifth straight game. 3-1 Hillers girls basketball took on Holliston back on January 5th. The game was their first game after the holiday break. Julia Canestrari, Michaela Pucci, and Ivy Goglin finished the game with double digits in the points section as the Hillers cruised past Holliston 43-23. Following the win at Holliston, the Hillers girls took on Medfield on the road and lost 54-38. to Hillers girls responded nicely the following game, however, against Bellingham. Reagan Chiavani hit a trifecta of three-point field goals in the first half. Goglin dominated from the low post as the Hillers cruised past Bellingham 61-31. 
The Hillers boys basketball team took a tough loss at home against Medfield, 77-67. They followed up with a road win against Bellingham, however. The Hillers are now 3-5 on the season overall.